Hey guys, uh, it's been an age since I, I made a video for this channel, uh, film review wise anyway. Uh, I think I uploaded uh, something to do with one of my uni projects um, earlier, a couple of months ago maybe. Uh, I think the last review I did was the Evil Dead remake and today I'm going to be doing a review of Pacific Rim, the new Guillermo del Toro film. I'm sorry if I've pronounced his name horrifically incorrectly, but I can't really pronounce it, it's quite quite hard to. Uh, okay, so Pacific Rim is a kaiju uh, monster film, a modern kaiju monster film. I am not familiar with kaiju films. I am. I think I've seen the US version of Godzilla um, when I was younger, but that's the only one that I've seen that's even like it, and that isn't a very good film, I don't think. The Japanese, uh, the, old, the older ones are a lot better. So Pacific Rim centers around the main character called Rally, um, played by Charlie Hunman. Uh, no, I, I'd, ne I'd never heard of him before this either. Um, I don't know what other films he's in, but because uh, I haven't done any research for this, but you know I haven't recognised him, his face in any way. And um, he, he is the protagonist of the film, and he is a control of these big of a big robot with his brother, and these robots are called Jaegers. And what happens is these Jaegers are controlled by one half of one person's brain and one half of the other person's brain, controlled by two pilots who simultaneously move it um, in the machine um, together with their brains infused with a link. I think it's called a link. Um, okay, and um, these monsters called the kaiju, which means big monster uh, in, Jap in Japanese, uh, come from the Pacific. There's a big portal and a gateway to their universe um, where these kaiju come out of and there's different types of kaiju um, so there's like type 1 which is powerful and then there's type 5 which is fucking huge like really big and will absolutely just take you out um, so the the story revolves around this guy called Rally uh, I won't spoil it um, I won't try and spoil anything to do with the film and so later on in the film uh, he meets up with uh, his captain uh, not captain, but you know, commander, uh, played by Idris Elba, uh, called Stacker. Um, now, he is the best actor in this film, I think. Idris Elba is an incredible actor. You've seen him in Prometheus, and if uh, I think he was in The Wire for an episode or two, and he was also uh, plays Luther in the BBC drama Luther, and he is absolutely brilliant in this film. He he hasn't really put a bad bad foot out of place. Oh, and he was in Ghost Rider: Spirit of Vengeance, but you don't want to watch that um, yeah so he's this captain who is controlling like controlling all of the Jaeger drivers the the big monsters uh, machines are called Jaegers that fight um, the kaiju and this is kind of just like a massive Power Rangers big uh, mechy suit thing fights big alien thing from another dimension um, there's also a female character in the film uh, called Mako and she is played by Rinko Kikuchi. Um, never seen her in a film before either, but she's not bad in it. Um, the 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 way this film's oh, yeah, of course I've already mentioned it's directed by Guillermo del Toro, but uh, him as a director is a bit strange because he's made some brilliant films like Chronos and Pan's Labyrinth, which are more adaptable to like older people. Uh, let's say uh, I don't know later teenagers. Uh, into early adults and then beyond until people d are dead. That was the most stupid way of saying that ever. Um, but he also does films where like, like Blade Two and this, for example, and Hellboy, where he kind of makes films for like twelve-year-old teenage boys who just want to see pretty stuff happening on screen. Uh, no doubt Michael Bay does this, but Michael Bay needs to be taught how to do it properly. Uh, like this movie is done. Uh, he. Guillermo del Toro makes a brilliant film. The fight scenes in this film are absolutely superb, and this is why I wanted to see this film. I didn't really care about the character, I didn't care about the plot, I didn't care about character development, I didn't care about storyline at all before I went to see this film because I knew it was just going to be a pop conflict with big, large monsters attacking big, large robots and like shit just kicking off and things blowing up and 
are the, the fight scenes in this film are absolutely incredible and they're filmed really well as well um, very interesting use of camera angles and they tend to linger so you can see what's happening on screen unlike the Transformer films where things are happening close to the camera and you can't tell which robots what and things are all like in your face like that especially with the CGI uh, sorry I just did that um, but with this film you can especially one moment in the film you can see as one of these things attacks and it just lays out in front of the whole screen you just see this thing turn around in slow motion and smash into the other one um, these fight scenes are done incredibly well Notice noticeably they're all CG uh, but they are very very fun and so well done I, I can't I can't stress how good the fight scenes in this film are this is why you want to go see this you want to go see it just to see what the monsters are like and the different types of monsters and there's a really really cool one that's my favorite but I'm not going to tell you uh, and there's also you know they get bigger and more strange and more scary and if you've seen the trailer then you've only seen one or two of them the fa in fact there's about seven I think seven or eight kaiju in this film independently with with um, you know um, in different scenes which is very very well done they don't tend to pile up the amount of uh, monsters on, on the screen uh, say so, like there's always like one kaiju versus one Jaeger at a time so you can see the fight go out in full motion now the characters in this film, as I've mentioned, uh, the actors, uh, are actually well done, they're well played and these actors have tried their best. I mean I've never heard of the protagonist before but he does an alright job. He's not the best of actors but he's not the worst and I think he'll probably get, you know, he's probably going to be a bit like Sam Worthington if this if this is a hit. Uh, the characters in the film, kinda, the, the storyline kind of plods along at a kind of mediocre walking speedish place uh, but that's only when there's dialogue and I feel that the dialogue in this film if the dialogue had improved and the actors were more capable of delivering it and for, for us to care about them uh, except for Idris Elba of course who is really cool and acts really well um, then we would we would care more for the characters uh, but you know uh, that isn't that isn't what happens the acting's just alright and it just stays alright throughout the whole film it does the job to be fair and you're not here to see the plot you're here to see big monsters fighting so that wasn't a massive problem with me um, there were a couple of things in the film where the story uh, contradicts itself and then ruins kind of the illusion and I felt uh, around about an hour an hour into the film after the second big kaiju fight that <coughs> I honestly thought that the film was gonna end and it was like Okay, like we've had we've had two acts. It's now time to roll out the third one. Just have a big. Was that like I was confused whether that was the last act of the film or not, and what what's going to happen? And then the last act came, and it was badass. Of course, Ron Perlman's in this. Uh, he plays a great character. I'm not going to spoil who he plays or what he plays, but he does well, uh, as you can expect in a Guillermo del Toro film. And there are two comedy characters. Uh, now this is kind of like a manga or an anime film. You know they've got the the protagonists and other stuff, but everything that really matters is the big monsters. But you've also got the comic effect and the comic characters, who are two scientists, one that does biology and one that does maths and physics and stuff. And they're really good. They play off each other really well. I can't remember what their actors' names are, and I'm really sorry about that, but I'll probably post it on the screen. And uh, one uh, one of them is actually played by one of the actors that was in Torchwood the TV series, and he was also in Batman The Dark Knight Rises, um, just for a little role there, but he plays a decent role in this film, and the other character is actually pos possibly my favourite character in the film, he's the most likeable, I think, of all characters, um, that being said, he's the most uh, easy to kind of access uh, as a person in the audience. Okay, so now I don't know what to give this film in terms of rating, I'm going to say um, a seven or an eight. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with a seven and a half out of ten. Uh, now, I am going to say this: if you're going for story and character development and stuff like that, they have tried to put it in there. It's not like they've just ignored it. Um, they have actually tried really hard to put it in there and have a conceivable storyline. And the storyline is very straightforward and under easy to understand and it is quite cool and interesting as it's laid out to you. Uh, the story is actually, you know, it's just, it's not just a piece of crap storyline just for these monsters to be fighting. It's actually alright in considering the situations. Um, you know, as I've said, the acting's alright. Uh, Idris Elba's really good. Uh, but you should go see this film just for the monster fights. It's absolutely 
brilliant. I can't stress how good some of the fight sequences in the film are, and how breathtaking some of the shots and sequences are in this film, as I've just said. Uh, so, thanks for watching this film, guys. Uh, film review, guys. Um, comment, rate, and subscribe if you want. Uh, you can leave positive and negative feedback on my channel or on this comment stream, and I will be doing a lot more films, as I always say, in the future. Thank you. I'm out.